There's no reason to fight to the death here. I'll just be the bigger man and say you got me. Oh my, you're a lot more aco uh, accommodating than I expected. So that horrid, filthy scent of insects was just something that rubbed off onto you. You must scrub hard to get the smell off of you, understood? Well, not really, but men, put your weapons down. Do as this woman says. Damn, why? But we just met you, our mentor, and we were on the verge of bettering ourselves. Wait, what? I'm going to ask you again. What were you doing here? Can you tell us again? I don't remember lying to you, so my answer has not changed. I'm disposing of those that are empty. I'm sorry, can you please clarify without the poetic assassin phrasing? So it wasn't clear. Let me put it in plainer terms. We are picking up all the empty bottles and cans people left here. What of it? But you're a Hassan! What does that matter? I had some time on my hands, so I pick up things that can be recycled. I'm the sort who collects all the daggers I throw from the battlefield. And this habit has left it somewhat painful for me to see the culture of fast consumption in this age. It can be so terribly wasteful. After a while, the young men who had time and shared in my beliefs gathered here, and began to assemble and volunteer their time to assist me. Yeah, our mentor became known for turning our delinquent ways around for the better. What the fuck is that name? Hakmo? From 3rd Street even landed his dream job at an IT company, and I'm also going to start work at this company called Gold Man Something. You shouldn't judge people by their looks, you know. What matter what matters is leading an honest, hardworking life. <laughs> Indeed. They can save face and regain something of an identity. I don't know why, but he gets on my nerves. Maybe we had a connection in our past lives. Shut up! God, I know this entire trial quest in her inclusion is to promote, uh... To promote the Heavens Film movie that was coming out at this time, but boy... Boy, are they really fucking ham-fisting it. It's like, oh, he smells like bugs. Zoken. Oh, he's evil. Heavens Feel. Oh, Sakura's playable. Heavens Feel. I get it. Shut up. And the worst part is, I know it gets worse. Can I keep talking? Um, right, even if he was judged by his looks, no matter what his past was, our mentor's unwavering spirit to keep going was what attached us to him. You think too much of me, boy. But a little flattery never hurt anyone. Keep going. But you're still an assassin, correct? Aren't you the bad guy of all bad guys who, under the orders of a bug-smelling master, killed both humans and servants? There is not enough booze in the world. Ugh. I don't quite know what you mean. Yes, I am an assassin, a nominally evil being. But now I am first and foremost the servant of Master Vaini Zanagi. Without being ordered to do so, I would certainly never attack at random. Yeah, I forgot to mention, he's on our side. Uh, such a thing is possible? I'm terribly sorry. I'm such a klutz in every possible way. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I feel just awful. It happens. Master is right, Pravardi. Anyone can, mista can make mistakes, you know. Even Hassan laughed it off and forgave you. That said, we were all a bit shocked at how mad you got. You too, right, Vane? That incredible, if dark, fighting spirit that was particularly pouring from you, it sure reinforced that you are definitely a god. Now I know not to make you mad. Please don't talk about it. All that anger, and it was just a misunderstanding. I'm so embarrassed. Ahem. <clears throat> Well, there's one tiny bit of silver lining. Compared to what happens when I'm really angry, that was just the tip of the iceberg. 
Fortunately, since I'm a pseudo servant, I am 100% good. Wholesome good, it goddess. I won't let that destructive negativity out so easily. Um, are you trying to say that your real anger is even more intense than what we saw? Yeah, smile. That wasn't much of an answer. No, you don't have to worry too much. What I mean is that you will never see my true fury. What I'm looking for isn't around here. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it is that I'm still unused to this since I just manifested. Oh, hey, I meant to ask you. Why did you manifest in the first place? Promotion. Does it have to do with what you're looking for? Oh, no, what I'm seeking is more of a bonus. Or, well, it's sort of all in my mind. There is a legitimate reason for my manifestation. It's very difficult to put into words, though. But let's see, it feels like there is something that I must do. If you manifest it as a servant, that means you will need a master to help you accomplish whatever it is you want to do. What do you think? I can very confidently put forward Vane as highly recommended master. I agree wholeheartedly. Senpai truly is a reliable master. R right, I completely forgot. A servant needs a master. Vane is, of course... A pure and just individual. You're right, it would be best for me to continue receiving Vane's support. Oh god, no. No. No, no, no. Oh god. Uh, you know, honestly, kind of surprised it's her and not one of the Fate Stay Night characters. Or one of the other Stay Night characters. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. You're not getting away. Pink aerial stunts are a, are a no no. That voice. Providing minimal explanation, I'm pa patrolling my territory. That's right, it's Mew. Wild animal appears. Jaguar man, why are you here? Shut up, you perpetrator. This is Jaguar's territory. Power over life and death, love and death, fish or beef. Know that everything hinges on the whims of the mistress of this territory, me. Teacher, that is such an absurd role. Um, I actually don't know why I called that thing a teacher. It just came out. We get it. She's Sakura. Stop. Please. Of course you did. This jaguar actually stands above all living creatures to be an example to all. I'm the ultimate creature of education. Cat, cat, shin? I'm gonna give you a snippet of truth. Eating meat makes you super happy and nap time is the doorway to your dreams. I tried to make it sound nirvana-y because there's an Indian goddess in front of me. What do you think? No good? Uh, I see. Whatever, I'm being super generous today. Take a look at student number EX, who also worships me. Actually, she just dragged me out here. And why are you calling me student number EX? Um, actually, that girl is even more of a rare case than we are. Maybe you could leave her out. Ah, the gang's back together. I'm feeling invincible. I've clinched this. Ah, oh, this is nuts. Although I kind of understand it's simply calling her teacher. But there is someone I've never met with Master. Oh, she's so pretty. Anyway, I should politely introduce myself to people when I meet them for the first time. Hello, big sister. Yes, hello, Iliasfield. My name is Pravati. Huh? Did I say my name already? The world and distant space sometimes align by sheer coincidence, like the light hitting a kaleidoscope to form a distinct and dazzling pattern. Our encounter must be like that kind of a miracle. Either either way, I'm glad to see that you are well and happy, Iliasville. Uh, okay. Thanks. Hey, trying to chat up my student is forbidden. I've heard enough, meow. This jaguar is here to object to what you were talking about. Um, what were we talking about? A contract. Right, that's it. I ask of you. Ah, I've always wanted to say that line. It feels nice. 
I knew I was the real heroine. Anyway, I ask of you, are you positive you want to come to Kialda? Uh, that was what we were talking about, and yes, if I have the chance. Listen, Kialda is no ordinary place. Get this, Kialda has Emia, and Emia, and even another Emia. On top of that, there's even a possibility that more Emias will pop up one day. Sukhavati? I don't know what that means. I mean, she's not lying. <laughs> so what do you think? Confused? Yes, very confused. I like your honesty. Now do you really think the psyche of a serious Kohai type would be able to withstand the uh, ridiculous hell that is Kialda? Testing that resolve in a fur ferocious fight is the duty of an educator. Let's go, student number EX. Now is the time to show our senpai powers, strengthened by having to endure that weird hell for so long. What? So I'm on this side? I don't want to be on your side. I don't want to fight against master. You idiot! If you do a good job here, your dream of appearing in Bloomers won't have to remain a dream! I don't want that either! Are you kidding me? Fine, then how about I help you do your homework for a week? She stopped moving! Trying to make an innocent girl do your work by bribing her makes you a terrible teacher. You must be punished! One punishment later. Gah, how could this happen? We're both Lancers! So this is what happens when you get a fourth star. Bah, I guess that means I have to do my homework on my own. Game, set, and match. Ah, so this is your resolve, huh? You've got true grit. But let me ask you again, and this time I want your final answer. Cute girl you'd, who'd be cuter with some Sakura petals decorating her. Do you really think you'd be happy if you came to Kialda? Yes, I think so. To be happy to make someone else happy, or even to be happy by making someone else happy. I'm sure there are many different methods. But no matter what, as long as I am myself, I know the people around me will be happy. Isn't that what being a goddess is about? Got it. If you have that much confidence in yourself, I have nothing more to say. But, but, it's just too perfect. It just doesn't feel right. Don't you need some kind of dark side to you? <laughs> Ahem. Rest assured, I may have cut away the shadowy parts of myself, but make no mistake, there is such a thing as shadows in the light. Vane and the others are well aware that I am not just the pure good parts of myself. That's why I'm able to somewhat participate in battle, like smacking people. Hmm. Well, that's not exactly what I meant. Ah, oh, crap. I'm almost out of energy. Farewell, everyone. Look forward to the next exciting installment, uh, installment of the Jaguar Man show. She just does whatever she wants, doesn't she? She looks an awful lot like someone I know. Don't think too hard on it. Okay, I'll do that. If something like this happens again, I'm sending Chloe instead. They both act like cats anyway, so they'll probably get along. Yep. Phew. Thanks to that mysterious jolly animal, we took an unexpected detour. But I have a feeling we're getting close to what I'm seeking. We just have a little more to go. Please bear with me, Vane. There it is. I'm sure that's it. Someone's standing over there. You finally come. Medusa, why are you wearing uh where are you wearing the uh school uniform? Wasn't that always Caster's thing? Pretty sure that's literally the storyline of one of the uh Carnival Fan not Carnival Phantasm, um uh, Tiger Coliseum endings that Caster wanted to wear a schoolgirl outfit so she could go to uh go to school so she could be with her uh her master, um, I don't remember his name. The teacher guy. That was literally her fucking plot for that. Nobody would ever forget that figure. M master, why are you here? This is, well, this was not part of the plan. 
What are you doing? Those are my clothes. Oh, you found it? You were looking for that school uniform? Yes, it's sort of an object that acts as an anchor to maintain my existence. That spiritual unjust should naturally be in my possession. But for some reason, the moment I manifested, I realized I didn't have it, and that it was somewhere else entirely. I will pretend that that somehow fucking makes sense at all. Was that mean? Does that mean you were naked when you started? How does that work? I don't. Whatever. Do you wear it on top of your normal clothes or on top of your Indian clothes? How does that work? I don't get this. So I went look f looking for it by following its scent. And when you sense that someone else is wearing your precious clothes, you would never want to give them up and go on a journey to find them no matter what. Do you understand that feeling? Um, well... So what is your intention? Well, you see... It is difficult to explain my actions, even for me. After all, what I've done here was motivated by a sort of impulse that bubbled up from somewhere within me. But at least half of my goal is accomplished now. I used this school uniform as bait to lure you here, Pervardi. I see, so it was part of your plan to be found. So what is the other half of your goal? Why to eliminate you, of course. While some may argue otherwise, I would say that I am doing what I am, because we are both goddesses. I'm not certain myself, but my gut tells me. There's no need for you to fight if it means, uh, you have to use that vessel. We get it, Sakura was Medusa's master. Quit beating my head over- quit beating me over the head with it. And since you've just become a servant, Heading you with a sufficiently powerful spiritual attack may cleave you apart from your vessel. Doing so may entirely negate your existence as a pseudo-servant. So there's no reason for me not to try it. My spirit core is compelling me to try. Now please. Please return to the realm of the gods. I have nothing against you personally, but brace yourself. It looks like we can't talk this out. I may not understand your reasoning, but I can see that you are resolved to do this, but... I also have a purpose for being here, so I cannot allow myself to be sent away so easily. So I will defend myself. This is the end. Please accept defeat. Uh... You don't look like you're willing to give up. Sigh. I suppose I have no choice. Please allow me to speak to you. Though I must make some assumptions to do so. I am an Indian goddess while you are from the Greek pantheon. Bluntly point put, we have nothing in common. That is true. Yet that doesn't seem to matter to you, and you are fighting fiercely to stop me. It is hard to believe you're doing this just because we are both goddesses. Then the answer is quite clear. You are concerned about the goddess I am, uh, not about the goddess I am, but the girl whose body I inhabit. That is a valid point. I simply felt that you should not be fighting. Yes, you may be right. The girl and I do have some sort of connection. Even though you technically shouldn't remember that, but okay, whatever. Again, when is FGO ever considered continuity? The reason why you feel I should not fight is because you are concerned for her becoming a container for a divine spirit. Being overprotective can sometimes backfire, Ryder. Oh, but don't get me wrong. I'm not quite sure why, but something within me compelled me to refer to you that way, by the name of your class. But I have absolutely no memory of you. After all, I am Parvati right now. However, neither I nor this body of mine feel any anger towards you for what you've done here. In truth, we are happy about it. So, you don't intend to stop the in manifestation? No, this is part of my duty. I have been entrusted with the mission. I must deal with my own mess. Well, it's my own fault for making a certain sacrifice. No matter the path I take, I'm certain you will lead me to save the world as a goddess. Even if it means I must sacrifice my life, I will protect the world and the people that I love. And the girls shared my wish to be such a being. It is the wish we share that allowed me to manifest here. At least that's what I believe. Surely you must know that the girl possesses a strong heart. Yes, you're right. 
God. Look, if I wanted to play Heaven's Fill, I'd go play it. Ugh. If your existence here is a result of her resolve, all I did was get in her way and overstepped my boundaries in doing so. You didn't overstep anything. As I said, the thought behind your actions made us happy, truly. But there are things that even we cannot give up. That is all I wanted to say. You are absolutely right. She may look weak and cowardly, but she really was strong-willed. I had forgotten that you were that kind of person. Please, allow me to apologize for my actions and these clothes. Here, I will return them to their rightful owner. Thank you very much. This is a relief. Looks like everything has been settled peacefully, senpai. Uh, Pravardi? Oh my, I'm a bit drained now that everything is over. Now that I've recovered what I sought, this seems like a good place to take a rest. Please rest assured, now that we have met once and forged a bond, so long as we retain that connection, we are sure to meet again, Vane. Yes, in due time, I am sure I will become your servant. When that happens, I will work my hardest, so please take good care of me. It's okay, Ryder. My shyness will never completely go away, but I've gotten tougher. Even if the relationships between those in Kialda are as complicated as that odd animal said, I'll be, well, I'm sure I'll be fine. Is something else bothering you? Oh, I get it. You've come to like this school uniform too, haven't you, Ryder? Oh, all right, even though this was originally mine, those who have only seen you wearing this uniform might think a goddess assaulted you and stole your clothes. It might be best to consider making a duplicate of the uniform just for you. Oh, it would be so wonderful for the two of us to wear matching uniforms and become servants together. So how she disappear if she's inside of, a, inside of someone's body? I'm sorry, Master. This has turned into something of an anticlimactic farewell. It also doesn't make sense. Does she now just possess this person, Sakura, forever now and she goes to the throne? How does this work? But that is another side of the girl, or so I feel. She can be a little ditzy. I have a feeling we'll meet again. Master, I know that with you there's no need to bring this up, but I will say it just the same. Senpai, Senpai, Medusa's giving you a really terrifying glare, and she's not even using her mystic eyes. I was under the impression that's not something she can just turn off. Yes? Even if you do manage to summon her, you must vow to not treat her like a disposable pawn or put her in unnecessarily dangerous situations. I'm not asking for you to give her special treatment. I'm only saying that you should treat her as well as the rest of your servants and take good care of her, understood? Okay. I can't hear you. Yes, ma'am. Good boy. Now let us head back. I wonder why I'm feeling so restless. Perhaps I should be I should prepare by cleaning the room next to mine. Pravardi is somewhat special, even unique among pseudo servants. And not just a Medusa, but perhaps many others in Kialda would feel the same way when they see her. <laughs> That's concerning. It'll be okay, as long as Master's around, any complicated relationships between the servants are sure to be resolved quickly. Good thing I don't own Ishtar. That could be weird. And of course, I will do my very best to support you. Either way, our quest here is done now. Good work. Yay. Alright. I don't really have to say what I don't like about that, do I? I personally don't typically... I don't personally like Pravardi as a servant. Because she seems like just a... Uh, she's just a kind of like... A fan OC given superpowers. And also, this was way too much beating me over the head going... Going, Heaven's feel! Heaven's feel! Heaven's feel! Heaven's feel! I get it! But yeah... All the trial quests are now over, but I think before we get on to the 
fucking Halloween event. I think we need a what you missed to come after this. Mostly because had quite a few uh quite a few things happen. Also it'd be good to look at the Argotha Serns. Also, I mean, as I always say with El Meloy, I can hate them personally, like for their lore and their character, but I mean that doesn't mean I won't roll for them. So until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta.